guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Johnny Plays. If you guys are new here, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you're new to this series, go ahead and check episode one because that is like a mandatory episode. You guys have to watch that so you can get caught up to this episode. Now, for those who did watch the last episode, we did purchase many players, we sold many players, and we simmed all the way to our first league game. So we're actually going to be getting right into that right now, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and get right into that straight away, right now. Kicking off this episode the right way. Alright boys, this is the team that we will be playing with this game. As you see, Bernard and Johnny will be making their debuts. And that is the rest of the team. If you want to go ahead and pause that, you can go ahead. I also will be playing 6 minute halves and on world class. Because I feel like that's the right difficulty for me. So yeah, let's get right into this game. Alright boys, Celta versus Real Sociedad. Here we go. First game of the season, the nerves are kind of kicking in for me. Uh, I'm not, I'm not worried that I'm gonna lose. I'm just, I don't know if how this team is gonna play. I don't know if Bernard and Johnny are gonna be worth their purchase. So that's kind of why I'm nervous. I hope they are. I hope I didn't waste uh, millions and millions of dollars on them. So hopefully they do pay off as investments for this club. Uh, so this is the Celta Vigo team. Sorry if my dogs are barking. That's really annoying. Uh, but that is the team. If you guys want to go ahead and look at that, you can go ahead and look at that. They actually have some decent and very good players. Uh, really worried about Andre Shirla and Iago Aspas and Sisto up top. They're going to cause us so much dangers. Again, sorry about my dogs barking. That's really annoying. Let's get right into this game. Hopefully, we do win it. You guys already seen the squad, so I don't think you need to see that again. Alright, boys. First game of Real Sociedad Curma. Very, very nervous, but hopefully, we can pull off this win. to William Jose. Bernard to make some sort of run here. He has the ball. Oh, it's just stripped away from him for Cabral. Carlos Villa with some space. Gonna hit one, two here. Gonna start to see if we can get another one. I don't think we can. Gonna lay it off for Bernard here. He has the pace, boys. Passing by his man. Gonna take that shot. Oh, he's hit the post. Oh my god. He I don't think he was big enough to challenge their center back for an out muscling. Uh, sort of battle there, so I just took that long shot. He's hit the post boy Bernard so far He's feeling pretty good pretty kick pretty quick on his feet there But he has hit the post getting even closer to this 1-0 lead We can't let the computer score first boys because then that'll be just a mountain We'll have to climb here Andre Sherlock on the ball. I think he's looking for some sort of cross uh, Oh my freaking god how did my center back not get that header? And how does Ruli not save that goal, boys? Right when I say that, conceding first against the computer is such a hard thing to do because then that is a mountain to climb. I literally jinxed myself, boys. I'm just sure with the cross. I really felt like, who is that? Is that Amendi? There's two players, one front and one behind. None of them want to challenge that header. Inigo Martinez doesn't get to that quick enough. Ruli, come on, bro. Here we go, Bernard. Waiting for Bardo to see if he's going to make a run. He is. He's going to finish it, boys. Right after we can see that goal. Bernard gets an assist in his first game. Bardo gets a goal in this season. First game of this season. Ball roll from Bernard. Laid off for Bardo. I didn't even think he was going to finish that. But he does what a great finish. Already back in the game. The mountain wasn't that high to uh, climb. But still, we could have had 1-0 lead if we wouldn't have seen that goal. Let's try to get that 2-1 lead at least. Bardo on the ball, quick turn. Ah, Pablo Hernandez does that very well here. Let's see if I can get some sort of. Pro Are you freaking kidding me? Can you stop barking so damn much? William Jose, finish that. Ah, oh, he does, boys. Boom. William Jose gives us that 2 1 lead. That honestly, I just really felt confident with his shot there. I felt like he was in a good position. I take the long shot. I'm pretty sure it was outside the box, so it is a long shot. Finesse. I thought it was kind of too slow in the air. It was moving very slow in there. As you see here, quick turn. Take that shot. I felt like the keeper was it was going to go right to him. But then, keeper sucked this game. William Jose finishes that off. Makes it 2-1 for us. And there's the finesse shot of dreams. Let's go, boys. Let's not choke this lead. Bernard has a little bit of space there. Can he finish that one? Oh, God. Yeah, that was a terrible shot. I think that was a terrible shot. Um, shot. I, I shouldn't have taken that. I shouldn't have taken that. <laughs> Double hit on this. Passes out to Sisto. Sisto's going to make that run. I'm going to follow him with Johnny. Oh, they played to Iago Aspas. Llorente is there. He strips Llorente. Please, please. I literally want to scream. Iago Aspas chips my keeper. That's the beauty of a goal. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. That was an amazing chip. 
real sick chip, but really, why is he stepping out that much? I get it. Like, Llorente, how do you get rid of that ball? How does he just strip Llorente like that? Llorente takes the ball from him, but then Iago Aspas just strips him in a sexy, sexy chip, boys. Oh my god, right over Ruli. Ruli is absolutely being embarrassed in this game, boys. Two all. I really need to come back from this. Pablo Hernandez over the ball to Iago Aspas to Sisto. Oh, he's cut in the middle. Oh, yeah, they've hit the post, boys. They're just knocking on our goal for that 3 2 lead for Celta Vigo. Diego Aspas, oh no, please do not, please do not do this to me. They've hit the post again. They've hit the post again. Oh, perfect. Frustrating first half, boys, from dogs barking to, to conceding a chip to Celta Vigo hitting the post twice. I am going to change the formation. I do want to change it to a 4-2-3-1. Uh, have two holding midfielders, which will be Ijaramendi and Pardo, and have Bernard to have some more uh, involvement in the game. I think that will actually add a lot of involvement for Bernard and also for the wingers because they're not really getting involved in this game. So once I find that formation, if I ever do, um, well, go ahead and I want to go with the narrow one. I really like using the narrow one. So this is what the team will look like, boys. 4-2-3-1, Bernard at 10, Vela and Yoris Ibal still at the wing, William Jose up top, Ijar Mendy Pardo as holding midfielders, uh, might bring on Find Me if we need a goal. Might bring on Janusai or Ethebo. You never know, boys. Uh, let's get into the second half. Let's win this game. Come on. Carlos Vela immediately making the impact. Gonna hit that to Bernard. Got some space for a cross. Oh, couldn't get that to William Jose. Come on. Oh, great pass. No! Oh my god, I was trying to get that to Pardo, but then William Jose gets in the way, man. Oh my god, what a pass right to Sisto. I don't think Llorente is quick enough for him. Oh, oh great block from Inigo Martinez. That was a close one. That was the 3-2 win right there for them, boys. Verba spin. Pull it back to Pardo. Pardo takes a bad touch. Alright, boys. That's really frustrating stuff so far in the half. I don't even know what to do with this team. Um, I'm going to change the formation again to, uh, I don't even know what formation to use. Let's use the 4 one 2 one 2 narrow. Really good formation. I really feel comfortable playing that formation. Uh, we're going to take out Oyar Sabal and put on, uh, oh my god, I don't really have a lot of midfield options there. We need to really need to get midfielders soon, boys. We'll put on Janizai. He can play that center attacking mid role. And we'll switch him for Bernard. I don't want to put in... Actually, maybe we should put in. We'll put in Zubeldia uh, just because we do need some fresh legs on the pitch. And we'll keep it like that, boys. Leave Vela and William Jose up top. Let's. Tr we really need this win. We really need it. Oh, great ball to Iago Aspas. And Ruli actually saves this one. Oh, God, Ruli hasn't really been saving a lot, but he did save that one. That was very crucial for us. Clear that. Clear that. Let's counter off it. Oh my god, El Ustondo. Oh my god, we're safe from El Ustondo. Oh my freaking god. Oh my freaking god. They almost scored there, boys. El Ustondo was on the line. Ruli was definitely not getting to that one. How has that gone? My oh, how did that go through my defender's leg? How did that go through Llorente's legs, man? Llorente's playing so bad. Goes through his leg. Iaspo has a chance of a one one on one. We're lucky he was on his weak foot though. Right to the keeper. Here we go. Oh, great pass. Januzai. Januzai. Oh, right to the keeper. I should have took a couple steps forward there. Come on, Vela. Come on, Vela. Cross that one in. Cross that one in. Januzai. Januzai. <laughs> Januzai had the opportunity to become a super sub there. Carlos Villa on his weak foot. Right to the keeper. Sanio with another amazing save, boys. <sighs> this might be the corner where we do take the lead, boys. I'm going to whip it in with Carlos Villa here. Oh my god, that was such a good cross. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. And is that with the ball? Oh my, what is he doing? Well, then I'll say, let's go! Let's go, boys! 88th milli, 88th minute. Well, then I'll say, I body the defender, turn it back. 
bangs it with his weaker foot. I think it's his weaker foot. I don't even know, boys. He gives us the lead. William Jose is honestly our best player on the pitch. Oh my god, we got so lucky with that one, boys. We have the lead. We just can't choke this. I'm gonna change the formation for like the fourth time this game. I'm gonna go to a more defensive one. Hopefully we do pick up this win, boys. That is how we're gonna finish off the game, boys. First game of our season. Very exciting game, William Jose. We could have actually sold William to Jose to Tottenham Hotspurs. If you guys saw last episode, we had a 45 million offer for him. Glad I kept him. He came so clutch in this game. Might be the top scorer of La Liga if he continues his way as that. Great first game. Defensively, very, very bad performance by me. Hopefully, I can improve, Matt, improve that over time. All right, boys. So, we did win that game against uh, Santa Vigo. Now, after playing that game, it did re make me realize that we do not have that much depth in our squad so that's why I've actually sent out some scouts to look for these positions in uh, particular a center back promising and also a cent center mid promising as well so basically a young center back and also a young uh, center mid so if I do find one that I like or I think will be a great value and add great value to our squad I'll let you guys know alright boys so I did sim a day and we actually picked up an offer for John Guridi uh, 22 years old, 64 rated, can play center mid and center attacking mid. We do need depth in that position, but he's not a player that I actually see myself playing in the future. So I'd rather sell him and use some of that money to purchase another actual player who are actually in our future plans. So the offer is 8,300,000, wait, is it that? 8 Eight hundred thirty thousand. Excuse me. Uh, his value is at seven hundred and seventy-five thousand. So I think that's actually a pretty fair, fair deal. Fair deal from Millwall. Let's simulate a couple more games. See if anything actually happens. Uh, we do have the Villarreal game. I think it is coming up. So we've actually had Celta Vigo and Villarreal as our first two opponents in La Liga. Very very tough uh, games to start off our season with. All right, boys. We've actually received an offer for Xabi Prieto. He's worth 8.5 million. We've received an offer of 8.5 million. Um, I don't know if I should accept that or try to get a little bit of money out of that. I'm not gonna risk it because he's a 30, 33 year old. Again, he is in the position which we do need depth in. He is 33 years old though, so that's only the only reason I really want to sell him. So we're gonna add him, or we're gonna accept that offer, should I say? Uh, hopefully he does sell on, and then we could use that money purchased from him. Uh, to actually buy a young, nice little player who can actually have uh, in that center midfield position. After his performance, his two goals against Celta Vigo, William Jose gets an offer offer from Liverpool for forty point seven million. He's valued at thirty two million. I'm gonna go ahead and reject that. I'm not even gonna think about that. He literally saved our butts last game. We get an offer for Oyarzabal from uh, from Burnley, but like I said, I don't want to sell him. Uh, he didn't play that well in our game, to be honest. He didn't play uh, that amazing. But I'm going to give him another chance. Uh, let's see if he does play well. If he doesn't, we can sell him on in the January transfer window if we really want to. All right, ladies and gentlemen, two players you guys have actually um, commented down below in episode one and actually um, told me to actually pursue our Sebastian Giovinco, the man from Toronto, the Italian man from Toronto. We could bring him back to some European football and also Santimina. Now, obviously, I can't get them both because I feel like they both can play the same positions. Santi Mina can play striker and actually is more versatile than uh, Giovinco. He can play any position in the forward three line. While Giovinco can only play center forward and striker. Plus, Giovinco is higher rated, so I think he would be, obviously, he would be more expensive. He's valued at $28 million, while Santi Mina is valued at only $12 million. Juvenco does have lower wages, but he is 30 years old, 83 rated. I don't know. I don't think he would actually be happy with some sort of rotational player role. So I won't be approaching Juvenco. I will be approaching Santimina. So just a reminder, guys, go ahead and comment down below some players you guys want me to purchase and some players who you think would actually fit with our Real Sociedad team. As you can see, I do listen to your guys' comments. Obviously, I won't always go with your comments just because I'm looking out for the best of our team's success. But Santi Mina, I think that's a perfect player. You know, I read that comment and I was excited because I absolutely forgot. And I feel like that's actually a pretty realistic transfer because he's not a starter at Valencia. Uh, and he can actually have a bigger role here at Real Sociedad since we're not as big of a club at Valencia. So let's try to get into some uh, negotiations with the club. We're not going to go straight for the buyout clause. 
uh, and then I'll just skip towards the end to see so I can just show you guys what we actually are able to pick him up for if we even do. We actually had offered 14 million for CNT Mina and actually their representative of the club or their club manager whoever actually said that they wanted a couple of days to think about the deal to see if it was actually worth it so we're gonna head, go ahead and wait for that but as we are waiting for that we do have the Villarreal game today. I don't know if I want to change formations. The 4-3-3 attack didn't really do me that well actually I've been a big fan of the 4-3-3 attack uh ever since it was first introduced in the game i'm a big fan of it but i don't know if it really works with my team right now i'm gonna give it a couple more games a couple more tries maybe i have to get used to the position uh excuse me maybe i have to get used to the formation we're gonna go into this game same lineup as usual uh and yeah let's get into it hopefully we can pick up our second win of this episode and our second first second win of this uh, season now I want to talk to you guys about something if you guys actually want to see uh, actual highlights or only goals let me know in the comments below if we do if you guys do decide to only want to see goals then we will be able to put in uh, more games into the episode but if you guys actually want to see highlights we will see less games but then again you'll see more highlights so just let me know down in the comments below boys and I'll make sure to give it to you guys Alright boys, this is the team that Villarreal are rocking with. They actually have a lot of squad depth in their team. I don't know if Bakambu is still at the club. I don't know why he isn't starting if he is. Uh, Baka Sanson up top. Uh, Cherishev, the ex-Madrid man, and Castillejo as the wingers. Uh, Trig Trigueros and Fornales, or Fornals at the CDM, CM role. Uh, Costa, Alvaro, Ruiz, Batman at defense, and Fernandez in goal. Don't know why Asensio isn't playing. He's like 84 rated. But better for us, hopefully we do actually win this game, knock in some goals. Let's try not to have the same situation as last game where we did concede first. Oh, great football from Villarreal. Cherichev with the cross. Johnny with the clearance, though. That could have been terrible for us. Great pass. And hit that back to Carlos Vela. Oh, boys, this is 1-0. This is 1-0. Oh, he's taking too much of a big touch. Uh, was holding down a sprint button. Should have let it go. Oh, he started taking ginormous touches. This whole time, I've been using the wrong mic. I've been using my laptop mic. Apologies about that. Oh, that's really annoying. Gosh, I'm so sorry about that, boys. Let's get back into the gameplay. I didn't know how bad my audio was until I looked back, back at a video clip. Oh my god, it's so embarrassing. I'm so sorry about that, boys. Like, the first half of this video is probably, like, absolutely trash quality. We oh, yeah, has the ball going down the wing. Has a little bit of pace. They're going to switch this one. Carlos Villa doesn't, isn't there in the back post. Oh my god, man. We're getting so unlucky. Our, our players really aren't in the right positions. Defensively, I feel like we've been playing amazing. Oh, yeah, man, he's giving the ball away, but so have they, I think. Oh, Baca's headed it to Sanson. Come on, Inigo Martinez. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, please, 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 please. <sighs> Carlos Baca has absolutely choked that opportunity. That should have been a 1-0 lead for Villarreal. Great pass and great play from Sanson, but Baca just shoots it wide. We got way too lucky there. Uh, I'm, I'm not really getting any attacking options with my forwards. They're not making any good runs, so I'm going to have to try to figure out. Baca on the ball here. Oh, he's sent a through ball to Cherichev. Oh, keep it with the save, but then Sanson gets the freaking rebound. That is so annoying, man. This video has been absolutely annoying. First, we concede first for Celta Vigo. We have to come back when we win 3-2. Then my freaking audio. I'm using my internal microphone from my laptop. Oh, my God, boys. That's so annoying. Oh. There we go. Bernard on the ball. Going to shoot that. Oh, Andres with a great save, boys. I thought that was going in. Jesus Christ. Gonna send that through to Carlos Villa. He got him in. Great pass to Carlos Villa. He still somehow has it. Oh, great play here. Great play here. We can tie it up. No, Julian Jose doesn't find anyone. Carlos Villa. Ref! Oh my god. How does the computer pull off those tackles? How does that make any sense? Why hasn't the ref whistled at all in this game? Boys, so yeah, that is 1-0. 1-0 lead to Villarreal. We've had a couple opportunities. We really haven't been able to uh, to take advantage of them. I've really been sleeping. It's this formation. It's really not working well for me. It's really bothering me as well. So I don't know what formation I want to change to because... I don't know. Okay, boys, so I've changed the formation. Try out something new to try out because obviously the 4-3-3 attack isn't working for us. I've gone with the 4-4-1 uh, attack, it's called. 
uh, with the center uh, attacking mid there or center forward, whatever you want to call him. Uh, Vela and Oyarzabal as our wingers. Pardo Yaramendi still in the midfield. Uh, William Jose still up top. Haven't made any changes yet. Uh, maybe I, I probably will honestly because we we're not getting anything. We're not being productive in this game so far. Oh my God! What a pass, Sanson with the shot right to Rui. Oh, my dog is already barking, man. Oh, boys, great step, we have Zabal. Don't let him cross that in. Don't let him cross. Don't let him freaking cross that in. Get it out the box, damn it! Get it out! Get it out the box! Gosh. Joining on the ball, Bernard making a great run. Finish that, mate. Finish. Let's go. 1-1 one, one lead, 60th minute, boys. Bernard with a great finish there. Slides to the ball, gets to it. Gets his first goal for Real Sociedad. He's been putting in pretty decent performances. This formation feels okay so far. Uh, feels better than the 4-3-3 attack. I feel like we have much more control of this game. Bernard with a little slide finish there to finish that one off. 1-1, one, one, boys. I Now we have to go for the lead. Like, now we have to. Come on. All right, don't score right after. Don't score right after. Come on, don't score right after. Don't score right after, man. Are you serious? What is my defense doing? Literally, they just pass the ball to each other like it's nothing. It's so simple for them to play that simple football, but for us, we can't even pass the ball five yards. That is so annoying. Well, then he'll say he's on sides, boys. He's on sides. Finish that. Finish that. Oh, freaking god! Are you kidding me, man? No, Jose still has it there. Ha! Alright, we get a free kick. He's been fouled. That makes sense because I don't even know what happened there. We're gonna put Ruben Pardo over this one. He is our best free kick taker on this team. Hopefully, he can actually make something happen after, out of this game. We need, we need a tie this game. I literally hate this game. I literally hate this game so much, boys. Oh, we've lost this game, boys. 1-0. Oh, I don't even know if this... Is this how I want to end the episode? We've lost this game 1-0, boys. Oh, honestly, I could have played better. I just feel like we haven't really found that formation that's doing us justice. Uh, the formation that we finished off with, with uh, the 4-4-1 attack... Kind of was decent, not the best. The 4-3-3 attack, I'm done using that formation. We've sold John uh, John Guridi, uh, Santimina. They've said that's unacceptable. They want 19 million. I'm going to try to talk to them out of that price tag, uh, and then we'll see what happens, boys. Uh, okay, we have a deal. Let's find out. All right, we've done it, boys. We've signed or we've agreed to a uh, value for Santimina with Valencia. Hopefully, that goes well. So, boys, the deal I am willing to offer them, uh, as you see, so far the contract talks have been pretty good. Uh, rotational squad rule, five years on their contract. They wanted a release clause, but I said no. Uh, I don't want to put on a release clause because that way that's how players just run away from your club. Um, I'm going to offer them a 40000 for wage. He already receives 32000 at uh, Valencia, so I'm going to offer him a couple thousand more and also a signing bonus of 500000 So let's see how that goes. I'm going to submit that offer. Hopefully they do accept that. They've come back and said they want 37,000 so they're willing to go down but they want 10,000 more in the signing bonus and after 10 appearance they want 390,000 I don't think that's actually that bad of a deal we do lose about a million on our transfer budget but you know what for a player in Santimina's caliber we kind of need that player who can fit in any position a very versatile player as well I'm gonna go ahead and accept that offer boys so Santimina has joined the team ladies and gentlemen he is our new uh, forward very versatile player, very young player as well. We have him for five years, so hopefully we can grow with him and he can grow with us. Uh, but yeah, now that that is over, boys, as you see, Mark Roca is one of the players I've been looking at for that sentiment position. But I really need you guys to help me out. So, basically, I am looking for a center midfielder and I also want to look for a center back. I really need a player to fill in those positions. I am so sorry about that, boys. So, if you guys know any players... Uh, who can actually fill a center midfield position or a center back, please go ahead and comment it down below. I will definitely go after that player. As you can see here, the only reason I actually went after and approached for Santimina was because someone commented below. So I actually do listen to your guys' comments, and I actually go ahead and do what you guys are telling me to do. Probably 75 between 80 if you guys know any good center midfielders or center backs for that position. 
uh, go ahead and let me know down below, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. It really means a lot for me. Uh, if you guys want to see the series this weekend, go ahead and put it down below. Please leave a like and subscribe, boys. Thank you so much for all the support. Thank you just to those who have commented last episode. It really meant a lot for me. And go ahead and comment this episode. Anything you guys want. Uh, have a great day. Have a great day, guys. Be safe. Yeah.